Hello, hello, guys, we'll have something really nice. The legendary weapons. And it's not something boring. It's something unique and rare that we can make on our own. These words, unique and rare, makes me feel really, really good. So what this means? It means that in order to have this, we need to consider two steps. I don't know about the second step, they said that we will find out later, but the first thing we should do is to awaken an item, a weapon. So we need a point for enchanted weapon. Oh my, this means already a lot of silvers, right? Of course, after this we will ask ourselves how and from what content we can make more and more silvers. <laughs> yep. So let's return to our topic. We need a point for enchantment on our weapon and this weapon will receive some points new points made on our pve content called attainment points that will help our weapon to be improved so we can add some traits for some magical skills that we like and want to improve any modification will mean an improvement but of course after this we will ask ourselves what is the best combination to have the best weapon Next question. Can we undo what we improved on a weapon? Or we should start from the beginning with another weapon? Hmm. I think we'll have also this option. Maybe not from the beginning, but probably after we have a number of points. And I also heard in the dev talk that the amount of points spent on, a, on improvements will increase step by step. So this will push us to, to do more PvE content. And I'm pretty sure that we'll receive more and more points by doing some, some high tier PvE content. And the most magical thing that I heard about our new legendary weapons is that according to what improvement we add to our weapon, the better rating we'll have. And wait, the magic comes now. The look, the sex appeal of the weapon how shiny and bright and how nice it will glow depends on this rating and wait the best part is that depending on what rating our weapon has there is the probability that the weapon will not be lost in a fight in a full loot zone so this means that the player that will win the fight will not find the weapon in the loot and the weapon will go to the black market and, of course, can be found later, maybe in a chest. And, and, someone can find it and can continue to improve it. This is awesome. Question. Please, I can't stop myself. So, we can't receive a legendary weapon with a good rating from a PvP fight. Good. The weapon will return to the black market and later on we can find this weapon in a chest but after this if someone will kill us this means that is the same thing the weapon will not be dropped as loot but it will go again to the black market hmm I think yes because this will make sense right so let's summarize a little bit we'll have a nice legendary improved rated weapon but for Arena and Crystal League fans, this weapon will not have the same powers for fair fights. Okay, good, I'm not a fan of them. But in Black Zone, when we'll see a legendary weapon, what we should do? Run or fight? Fight for fun and for other items that the player may have. So we'll inspect the player, we'll see. Okay, this item and this item, maybe it will worth it or skip it kind of nah this is not worth it um, but i'm a little bit confused so it is said that the weapon can be lost or destroyed in a fight depending on the rating of the weapon but for me destroyed means destroyed you know and not dropped in a loot right but at the same time in the dev talk they are saying that the weapon can be found and received in a PvP fight. Hmm. This means that there is a 
possibility, a probability that the world destroyed to mean a probability for the weapon to be dropped in a loot? I'm confused right now. Help me, guys. Uh, but uh, let's change the topic. Let's uh, let's stay with the magic thing, right? Now I'm dreaming. I'm really dreaming. Pokale Mom legendary weapon. Wild stuff with bright, colorful, shining weapon. With a nice view in the sky, in the field. No, no, I change it. Dead givers spreading fear while I'm walking in black zone. Everyone running. Or maybe... Or maybe we'll have some talks such as... Oh, Pokale Mom, nice weapon you have there. <laughs> okay, I have one more question. Can I give a present to someone my weapon? My legendary weapon? I think yes. It's n no harm doing this, right? No, I, guys, I'm very enthusiastic about these legendary weapons. Even if I know for sure that it will be really hard to have a good rating for your weapon. And I'm pretty sure that you'll suffer a lot when you lose it. But question, another question. Sorry, guys. If you lose the weapon, that will happen with what will happen with the points for that weapon? You can take another point for enchanted, same weapon, and you'll have the previous points? I hope yes. This should be the case if you'll buy craft the same weapon. I hope yes. Okay, I'll stop here because I have too many questions. I have to see it first and test it. So. What will be your first weapon that you see that you see it as your beautiful, rare, shiny, legendary weapon? Let's see the weapons on the field, black zone field. Let's go and fight and don't receive any weapon, but craft them. <laughs> it is called craft, right? No, it's called improvement, uh, like a unique. Unique, my unique legendary weapon. How can I call them? Pokale Mom's legendary weapon. See ya. <laughs>